right, folks, I'm uh, filming this quick video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be using a whip tip. Let's do the little fancy behind the thing. <laughs> um, comes in a little pack like this. I forget how much they are. They're cheap, like less than five bucks, I think, for ten. Um, Stu Max sells them, and <clears throat> they go on the crazy glue. I'm gonna fill this nut slot in because I bought this um, new to me, uh, obviously, uh, Harmony Tenor Guitar, which was made well before I was born. Um, but it, it came actually, the guy did some really good work, <clears throat> but the nut, I changed the strings when I got it. I do that with most of my new instruments that I get. And um, a piece of fill had come out, so the uh, second string was resting right on that first fret. So we're gonna try and see how this works. So I save all the bone dust. It just says bone, I don't even know. So I save from uh, saddle shavings and stuff like that. Um, my kid is watching some Frozen in the next room. <laughs> As you can see, I'm um, just kind of making a mess of that, but that's what you want to do is um, save bone dust. I have another one with synthetic bone dust because, you know, man-made bone is not quite the same. Um, and then other hardwood dust. I have a, a ebony little pill bottle full of ebony dust. Um, so it's good to just even save your sawdust and your bone dust. <laughs> so kind of pack that in, I guess. This is only like second time I've done this. Anyway, um, I might not have needed to pack that in there because uh, I'm going to be putting this crazy glue on top of it. But I wanted to try to, you know, start to finish for folks who may not know. You poke the hole in the crazy glue or the CA glue, as people call it. Um, and this little tip is so neat. See, just fits. Don't squeeze it. I do not have a good track record with crazy glue. <laughs> Don't ask. <clears throat> anyway, um, I have paper towels. And I shall see how quick this comes out. Do, 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 do. Don't judge me for doing it right here. But these little tips are really like isolated. That's pretty cool. Come on. There it goes. A little bit. I saw it move. <laughs> I don't want it to. That's been my issue. Is it sprays out? Cause I'll get too excited and press too hard. All right, Stu Mac, don't fail me. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was pretty precise right there. I feel like I ought to put a little on top of it. Make sure it does not adhere to my masking tape. Let's see. Cool. That's, that's nice. I like that. Uh, Super uh, fine tip. It's kind of, ch -ch -ch. I have a ton of bone dust, so I shall just let it. <laughs> I shall let it congeal with the crazy glue. <laughs> now I shall cap it because I am good at dropping things or knocking them over. <laughs> but yeah, I think. Cause I tried to do a fill job on this when I got it. Cause it came out, you know. Um, so this is basically like reconstructing the bone. So that's why you want to use bone or ebony if that's what the original material was. Um, and the CA or crazy glue helps it to uh, stay in place. And I shall uh, stop this video here, and then I'll start a new one with 
the shaping part and filing. Cool. Thank you all for watching.